hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to add custom add-ons in your existing odoo database and uh, how to visible those modules in the app store and in case you missed previous discussion about how to use scaffold command please check link is given in the description and if you want to learn more about odoo you can visit the weblands channel under the home screen you can see odoo 17 development tutorial is here and this is the main playlist of the odoo 17 and let's say if you want to continue with the older version with different topics you can visit the odoo development and here you can see different types of topic wise playlist available with the different test cases so let's back to our main topic like how to add custom add-ons in your current odoo database and guys if you didn't subscribe this channel please subscribe it will help me a lot so here if you remember last time we created copy cell copy school right school and student module and we created also one more directory which is custom add-ons and under that we created this school underscore student module using the scaffold command right in case you don't know what is it and how to create such modules without manually create modules please check the last discussion now here let me add all custom modules in my custom add-ons directory so let's say school and student let me drag into this custom add-on so make sure in your case also you can also add one more directory we, you can also give any of the name that is not necessary here your directory name and under that you can see here the list of modules you can also add i mean the custom add-ons right now you also aware about like we already created one more configuration file right you can see here the weblands.config file here in this add-ons path if you see we added two path right the physical path one is the base module and another is the community add-ons here the same likewise we also create our custom add-ons this one so first thing is i'm trying to copy this the hard path the full path here comma and i will pass here this is our custom add-ons path right and before i'm trying to restart the service right you can go to here in the apps you can see here this is of my local app store for this database and let me remove this filter and i will try to find out the school or let's say the student or let's say the copy the modules which we created yesterday right this one you can see all these five modules is not available in my odoo app store here right why because we didn't add to this add-ons path here so now i added here one more time i will try to restart the service again i'm going to here and another thing is you have to compulsory click to this add-ons app list once you update now odoo automatically recognize that directory and it will load all the modules the new modules here so let's say copy student and the score you can see all these five modules available here right you can see and which is in the not installed stat now another thing is if you are using the configuration file you can use like this for example if you are not using this configuration file right let me clear so might be there is a chance so here you can see python auto desk bin you are using this command in the terminal to active the auto service right so here you have to do one thing add-ons path and here you can use add-ons add-ons so this is the community version path we have to mention and top of that we have to provide the comma and custom add-ons here we have to use enter and after that you can see it will work like this right now you can see by default port number it's tag 8069 and if you observe here i'm using here 8099 so i will try to use the same add-ons path right but top of that i'm using also the configuration files like this it is also fine now that you have to remember one thing is once you provide here the configuration file first it will take from this configuration all the default parameters but let's say if you provide here in the terminal so it means it will automatically override this 
whatsoever command you provide here it will override from this configuration file so in this case it's not taking this add-ons path now it's taking this add-ons path from here okay so now i'm trying to refresh the screen copy and now you can see here it's working fine right so this is the main purpose here and another thing is every you can see all these modules right let's say copy sorry copy student and school all these five modules you can see here and the main reason you can see here is due to the manifest file right you can see here so this manifest file all the informations you can see everything is visible here in these modules okay so here you can see it's visible in your in the odoo database this all our custom apps right here let's say i will try to install this student module once i click here it will automatically install this module and once this installed the successfully it will redirect to the first menu right which is the discuss menu again i'm going to here apps i'm using the let's say the student right and you can also uninstall this module or upgrade this module if you upgrade this module so what it means like whatsoever you change the code in this in this particular module it will automatically update the module and let's say if you don't want to use this module just click to three dot and uninstall this module let's say here right and after you can see here student so this module is now uninstalled stat right and if you observe before the school underscore student is not installed why because the student module it's dependent the school underscore student module that's the reason it's automatically installed this module don't worry about this dependence in upcoming session i will explain how to use the dependencies in each module and what is the purpose okay now our upcoming session is what is manifest file and what is the purpose of this manifest file if you have any doubt related to this topic please comment below and see you in our next session